What's up guys, it's Ryan again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marina. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor, click this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now in today's video, we're going to do things a little bit different. Instead of talking about scuba diving, we're going to be talking about snorkeling and free diving. But I will be relating to scuba diving and why it's so very important that as divers, we don't forget how to do both, whether it's snorkeling or free diving. We're also going to be talking about how to get new people involved in diving by using free diving and snorkeling as their gateway to get them into it. Now we just spent a week down in Cozumel, Mexico with a family and not only did I go out and do some free diving sessions with one of our instructors, he actually took my wife and his wife out for their very first snorkeling adventure. So with all this being said, let's jump into today's video and I'll show you why free diving and snorkeling is a great way to get new people interested in diving and why it's also a good thing for us as divers not to forget how to do because it's going to remind us how to breathe properly and how to propel ourselves while underwater. <music> So getting started with snorkeling and free diving is really neat in the fact that it doesn't quite cost as much money as what it does to get into scuba diving. And in short, it's not as gear intensive. That means you don't have to have quite as much gear. Really, you only need three different types of equipment. You need a mask, you need a snorkel, and you need a set of fins. Now the cool thing about your mask and snorkel, you can use the same mask and snorkel that you use right now for scuba diving. When we talk about fins, though, there's a couple little things that we want to talk about. There's really three different types of fins. The first one is an actual snorkeling fin. It's typically just a slip-on fin where it doesn't have an open heel design. They tend to be a little bit shorter and they're extremely lightweight. They are going to propel you at the surface, but you may not get a lot of power if you decide to go underwater. So if you're just snorkeling, this is going to be great. Now, you can upgrade to, say, a full-on scuba diving fin, which works great. Why? Well, in short, they're designed to propel you through the water with a lot of heavy equipment. So if you are going to be going underwater, then this is going to be a great option for you because it's going to give you that propulsion power that you need. But now, once you graduate, say, out of snorkeling into free diving, you're going to want to upgrade into an actual free diving. Fin. Now the free diving fins tend to be a whole lot longer and they're going to give you a little bit more power, if not a lot more power, than what a snorkeling or scuba diving fin is. So even with snorkeling and free diving, you want to make sure that you're using the appropriate gear based off what it is you're doing. If you're going just at the surface snorkeling, snorkeling fins are going to be great for you. If you're going to be going underwater just for a couple little feeder or whatnot, then a scuba diving fin may work. But if you're really going to get into free diving, then of course you want to look upgrade and get you a free diving set of fins. Alright guys, so the next two pieces of gear that we're going to look at, of course, are masks and snorkels. Now, they make several different masks out there on the market. This is a medium to a high profile mask, and this is an actual free diving mask that is a low profile mask. And what do I mean by profiles? If we look at where the front of the frame is compared to where the skirt seals to your skin, we can see that there's a gigantic airspace here. And this is considered a medium to a high profile airspace, meaning it's going to take a little bit more air when you go to clear the mask, and it's going to take a lot more air when you're trying to equalize the mask as well. With a low profile mask, which is what a lot of free divers prefer to wear, it's a low profile airspace, so it's going to be easier to clear, it doesn't take quite as much air to do it, and it's not going to take as much force to equalize the mask as well. So why would you ever not want to use a free diving mask and go back to using your scuba mask? Well, in short, because it fits. If this mask fits you, you have the prescription lenses that you need, 
need, or for whatever reason it just fits better and makes you feel more comfortable, then by all means you can use your scuba mask over a free diving mask. Now let's jump over to snorkels and let's take a look at three different types and we'll kind of explain what their purposes are for. The first one that we're going to look at is called the Ergo Dry Snorkel. Now with the Ergo Dry, it's got a dry top here and basically that is designed that if you're snorkeling and you decide to go underwater, this little valve shuts off so that no water comes into the snorkel. It makes it a lot easier on your ascent to actually open the valve up and to continue breathing without having to clear the snorkel out. Now in the event, say that if water comes through the mouthpiece area, there is a purge here in the bottom that does make it a lot easier to clear. But this snorkel is really only designed for snorkeling. It doesn't really have much purpose when you're scuba diving. And for free divers, it's just a big bulky piece of plastic that's probably going to get in your way. So we can look at something like the cargo snorkel from XS Scuba. Now this is what I personally use anytime that I'm out in the ocean. Even if I'm scuba diving, this stays rolled up, it goes in a pocket, and it's actually what I prefer to use when I'm free diving. You probably saw in the teaser clip earlier that I was actually using this particular one. Now the cool thing about this is it does roll up. So if you're using it as a scuba diver, you can roll it up, put it in your BC pocket, throw it away, and then of course when you need it, you simply unroll it, snap it to your mask, and it makes it very easy to use. However, it is very flimsy, and at the surface, since the material is nothing more than silicone, it is going to kind of squeeze in from the pressure of the water, so you're not going to really be able to breathe that efficient with it when you're at the surface. So for free diving, you can step up to an actual free diving snorkel. Now the cool thing about this is it's a no frills, no thrills snorkel. It is basically a mouthpiece, a clip that goes around your mask strap, and an open top design. But it is kind of a more rigid design than what say the cargo snorkel is. And this is why a lot of free divers prefer it. It's gonna allow the best efficiency for breathing when at the surface, but it's still very low profile and very lightweight. So if you're wearing it as you go underwater, it's not gonna cause a lot of issues as you're down there creating too much drag. All right, so now that we've got you geared up, let's talk a little bit about why snorkeling and free diving is a great gateway course into scuba diving. If you take somebody like my wife, she is not very comfortable around water. And as much as she would love to go underwater and see the cool things that I get to see, she's just not that comfortable. So before I put a bunch of heavy gear in and put a regulator in her mouth and take her underwater, the snorkeling program is a great way to ease her into this. She can stay at the surface, she can float, she can learn those proper propulsion techniques, and she can get used to breathing with the pressure surrounding her. Once we get her there, of course, then we're going to get her into free diving. We'll get her to where she can do some breath holds, maybe 30 seconds up to a minute, and get her down to about 10, 15, maybe even 20 feet. As she starts building up confidence and building up her skill set, then we can get her into equipment and actually take her scuba diving. So the snorkeling and free diver programs are a great gateway course for someone who wants to do this, but they're a little hesitant due to their uncomfortableness around water. So the last thing that we're going to talk about in this video is how does snorkeling and free diving help you if you're already a diver, whether you're a new diver or you're a seasoned dive professional? Well, one, it gets you in the water. It allows you to practice your skills. It allows you to stay calm and it allows you to practice your breathing techniques. Whether you're working on your flutter kick or your frog kick, or you're simply just getting in there and working on breathing up techniques to eliminate CO2, it's going to make you a better breathing efficient diver. So guys, the snorkel and free diver program is going to be great for you whether you're just getting into this sport or you've been in it as long as I have. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope it kind of opened your eyes up. If you're a diver and you have kind of exhausted every little specialty that you wanted to take, try to dial it back a little bit. Take a snorkeling or free diver program, especially the free diver programs. Guys, it's helped me out a lot. I've been doing a lot of free diving here lately, say in the last two or three years, and I've been working my skill levels up to where I can get deep
deeper and deeper and stay a little bit longer. And it's really made me a better, more efficient diver while actually scuba diving as well. But guys, if you like this video, give me a big thumbs up. Definitely share it as well. As always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Pin us on Pinterest. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business.